G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. Again, we have quite the conundrum. It's a little bit worse than last time. Oscar's escaped out of the house again. He's slowly becoming more of an outside cat. However, there was another cat that's sort of chasing Oscar. It's a bigger, little bit bigger cat than he is. And that cat was sitting on that slide there. Oscar was hiding under the slide. I went out there to scare the big cat away. And Oscar took a break and then ran back under the house again. And I was just about to sit down and enjoy my breakfast here that I just made. But it looks like I'm going to have to go out there and save Oscar. I tell you what, that cat is a little tacker. So this is how we got out last night. Mum came home with some groceries, a car full of groceries. So we had about two or three trips back from the car to the house, going out the front door with the groceries in hand. This is the front door. I was trying to get out, and as I was trying to get out, he was like right up here in the corner, ready to run straight out. So I eventually got him to run around the corner here while I went out the front door, and I told Mum, watch out for Oscar, he's gonna run out of the front door. So mum went to the front door, and he's never really run outside before, so mum just opened the door and told him to get back, and he ran straight outside, and he's been outside all night. So the little tacker is proving hard to get back inside. I'm not going to spend all day in today's vlog trying to get him, because who wants to watch another cat chasing video again today? But CP just commented on one of my videos, and he said he wanted to see what my debit card or my savings card is looking like in the freezer so let me show you guys so here it is i just filled up this with water dropped the card in this container and it's just been freezing for about a week and a half and i haven't opened it for about a week and a half or so so as you can see the card is right at the bottom there <laughs> yeah it's frozen solid it's a really good idea because by the time this defrosts, I have time to think about is what I'm going to be spending the money on really necessary. It gives me that time to really think about it and by the time I think about it, I would rather have the money in the bank. Just went to the letterbox. We've got mail. Let's check it out. One's a small parcel and one's an envelope for myself. This isn't like a mail time thing. I'm still working on getting the PO box. I might get that in a few weeks or so, but let's see what I've got. Sick, so I just got a money order from OzPost worth $95.40. Because they were playing footy in the back with my parcel and they lost it. They weren't playing footy, but they managed to lose my parcel, one of the international parcels I sent. And the customer never received it, so I had to refund them money out of my pocket, which was about 100 bucks by the looks of it. And they just refunded me the amount, which is pretty sick. Thank you, OzPost. Like, most of the time, it's just like a loss on my behalf. But it's pretty cool to see that come back for me. So this is going straight in my savings account. Also, this other parcel that I have here... Oh, sh... Just heard a... Meow. It's chaos out there with those cats, man. I'm just going to let it be for now. The other parcel I have is a small parcel, which I think I know what it is. But let's open it up and have a look. Ta-da! Just what I've been waiting for. Do you guys know what this is? I'll let you guys have a guess. It is a derailer hanger for a push bike. So the current derailer hanger I have on my bike has threaded through here, so I can't attach my derailer. And I was working on getting my road bike together, and this is one of the problems I had. I couldn't get the derailer on, the rear derailer, because the threading in here on the one that I have on my bike is just fried. It has been threaded, so I'm going to replace it with this one. And then hopefully I can get my bike up and running by today. I've been wanting to take the bike into the city and do some thrifting on the bike and stuff. So that would be pretty sick. And it looks like we're going to be able to do that within the next few days. Alright guys, check this out. So I've got the bike here. I'm just working on it. I'm about to take off the old derailleur hanger. But look inside there. If you guys can see that, let it focus. So check that out, it's quite threaded in there, it's gotten really bad, so this part here needs to go, so I'll have to take off the wheel, get two little allen keys in there, take it off and then replace it with the new one. So there we go, I've taken the derailleur hanger off, that is the old hanger, this is the new one. I was a little bit scared that they weren't going to be the same size, but looking at that they look very very similar and I don't think I'm going to have any problems with sizing on this one. So I'm just gonna put it in like that. And Bob is your uncle. And there we go, fits snug like a glove. 
So I've been working on the bike for a bit. I had a bit of a problem occur here with this um, with this cable here. I had this set up really short, so this was like direct from here to there, like just curling over here. There wasn't this much leverage here. It was uh, this cable here I had connected to it, so you could imagine how tight that is right there. So I got rid of that, and I got another cable in there, which has a bit more room, because I was having problems trying to change gears and have it like and have it transition smoothly. But now I think I have it pretty good. It was rubbing before. But now it's not bad. I just got to do a few more little adjustments here with this barrel adjuster. Maybe turn that a few times and it, sh it should be smooth as a gravy sandwich. What I'm going to do is take it outside, do a bit of a test and just get the gears rolling through nice and smoothly. And as I remember the story you were telling me many years ago, this came about because First of all, playing with your thumb rather than a pick was quieter. Yeah. it rides pretty good it's just a bit unusual to ride because I'm so adjusted to the surly and the B butterfly bars since riding it in Japan just being used to that butterfly bar sort of setup and angle getting used to the drop bars is going to be pretty easy but at the moment sort of a bit weird and plus I'm so adjusted to riding a bike that's really heavy as well this is super light well, not super light but it's lighter than a packed uh, touring bike so I think that's all the adjustments I can really make all right I made a decision the bikes working pretty gnarly so what I'm gonna do is switch over the pedals to the clip-ons. I'm gonna go for a ride. She's a bit windy out here. Got a severe headwind. Looks like it's gonna storm soon. She's coming down now. Woo! All right, we've turned around. Now have a tailwind. But there's bloody magpies swooping. Legs are feeling good. Bike's feeling good. Not a bad roll. Did 42.2 kilometers at a 27 and a half kilometer an hour pace. Took me about an hour and a half. Not a bad ride. I am a bit sore in the hammies though. They're really tight. So I didn't get to make it to the post office today. It's already past five o'clock, so I missed them for today. So what I'm gonna do is, so what I'm gonna do is share with you guys today's sales and tomorrow's sales in, in tomorrow's vlog when I send them out then. But right now I'm just preparing dinner. Just got some veggies here and we've got a country style meat pie as well. Gonna get the veggies on and we're gonna bake this pie. I didn't really anticipate to be riding for that long. I only really wanted to go for like a 25 to 30K ride. But when I was about 20 k's in, I was feeling really good, so I was like, let's extend it and yeah, rode for a bit longer. Missed the post office, but she'll be right. Dad, could you take a photo of me wearing this bag? Customer wants to see what it looks like on a person. So I'll get you to frame it here and then take it like that, okay? <laughs> Pretend you're wearing a bag. Take a step to the right, the other right. So sort of take it like that. But obviously I'll be standing more in center. So I just edited a video, but I'm also listening to a YouTube video, a series of YouTube videos called You Were Born Rich. So if you want to check it out, it's quite some insightful stuff. I'll have a link down below for that. It's completely free, just YouTube videos uh, with some really cool and interesting tactics um, in regards to wealth and stuff. So definitely check it out. But that's it for today's vlog, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, make sure you like it. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's one. Bye.